Hello, Lolas. So I am back with Hunter, and Hunter is the Dwayne Awake kit by Claire Teller. Oh, I should have dusted this. Anyway, um, um, guys, make sure you're subscribed to this channel by smashing the red subscribe button, giving this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share and join the chat box by clicking the link in the description bar. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents to join. You do have to be at least eighteen years old to join. Um, also. There is merch for you guys, and the link is also in the description bar. Um, if you're not on an iPhone or an iPad, you'll see a join button next to the subscribe button. That is for the chatterbox. Um, all payment information and all that stuff is secured through um, YouTube. I do not have access to any of that. Um, only I can see who's the members in the group. Other members can't see who other members are unless they start speaking in the chat box. That's just FYI. Anyway, so this is the vinyl scope of the um, Dwayne's. And he is, I believe it's, he, I don't know if he's a prototype or what. I forgot to look at his, um, his certificate, but he is painted. Um, he is painted and sculpted by Claire Teller herself. Um, so he's a rare baby. I wanted to change him. I haven't changed him in a while. As you guys can see, he's still have on his little bird. Um, but I wanted also to tell you guys that he is my, if I'm not holding a silicone baby, he would be my baby that I would want to hold. The way that, that Claire weighted him is amazing. Something about his weighting is just and I weight my babies pretty good. Um, his sister is weighted nice, but he has a better, his, his is even better than his sister. So the way he's weighted is very nice. And I, it depends on the body style and everything of the reborns too. I learned that, that even some reborns, you just cannot get as cuddly. Um, and I, I've tried with some of them, I ordered tons of different bodies, weighted them different ways, and it just don't flow as nicely as others. Um, but he is, um, he's weighted pretty nice. And so um, a lot of people like to say you know, basically go on and on about the silicone babies. And don't get me wrong, you guys know how much I love my silicone babies. But for me, in all honesty, I feel like a, um, I feel like Reborns can feel just as nice. Um, his little hair, I need to fix his hair, but I don't have anything here. I don't have a brush by me. Um... But yeah, I feel like um, the Reborns actually can feel really nice and cuddly. You just have to weight them good. And when and a lot of people, because the glass beads are so expensive, um, unless people get them from like Harbor Freight and places like that, I get all my glass beads from Bountiful Baby. Um, it's just a trusted place because one time I ordered some beads and I... I thought I, I was getting a good deal, but when they came, they were so fine, like almost as fine as sand. And originally people did used to put sand in the, the Reborns, but I don't necessarily like that. It does feel nice though. I won't lie that the, the very fine beads, but I don't, I don't like them. So I end up throwing them out. Um, but they're so expensive. So a lot of people like, you know, be a little stingy with the weight. And I don't, I don't get upset if I get a baby that's like under weighted or weighted differently. I just reweight my babies if that's the case, you know, and that's, you know, that's one of those things that, you know, the painter artist cannot say what's best because like, I like my babies really heavy. Some people do not want that weight in their babies. So, um, you can't really call that like an issue or you know take away from the ratings on that artist if they 
don't weight their babies super heavy. But I think that's one of the reasons why people don't realize that the the um the vinyl babies can feel just as nice. Um if I had to pick up a baby just for for cuddling purposes or show somebody how real they feel, I would like pick he would be one of the ones that I would pick up. Um my Katie Lewis weighted really nice as well. So, you know, it's um Paris is weighted well. Most of my babies, if I can get them their weight right, they will be weighted good. Um, you know what? I'm gonna crisscross this. I forgot. I crisscross it so it tightens it up a little bit. But yeah. So that is that. And I just, you know, I know, like I said in my other video before, it's a lot of hype that goes around with, you know, the silicone babies. But I just want, want people to know that's out here that can't afford the silicone babies or, you know, some people, like I said, some people are just not in them. But a lot of people just can't afford the price tags on, on the silicone babies. Don't feel slighted, like, because... Honestly, there's a lot of benefits to the Reborns. Like I said, it's it's really nice if everybody could own at least one. And I, that's why I love the blank kits because um, sometime, you know, you could get them affordable. Um, they can get pricey too because, you know, the kits themselves is not cheap. And then by the time put up, people put all that work in it and it's the materials just to paint them are so expensive. I mean... The brushes, the silicone paints, and all that stuff is just very expensive. It's so different from the Reborns. Um, so sometimes even the kids can get a little pricey. But um, I just say don't feel slighted because, oh, he looks so cute in that. You look so cute, Hunter. I can't wait to be your hair. I'm going to, um, I am going to put him on. These are the socks that I was telling you guys that I got from um i think I, they were Mar marshall's and it's like it was six pair of boy socks and you guys know um nigel is wearing one pair so i'm gonna put him on these i think that no that don't really match he has on gray and yellow and this none of this really match but this is i don't know he might be okay to wear these let me see I think let's go this way. It don't really match. And I think it's going to throw his whole outfit off. Meh. I might just have to leave your feet out for now. Yeah. Till I figure it out. But yeah. So. Once I start getting back into my, like my reborns and stuff like that. I really get into them. Like, they they become my go-to for dressing them and stuff like that. And that's, you know, that's the other thing. Um, I enjoy dressing my silicone babies just as much. And, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, majority of my silicone babies have been, you know, painted by Clear Teller or um, someone that is experienced in the silicone um, and I haven't had issues with changing and dressing my babies out, you know, as far as, you know, paint loss or matting loss or anything like that, you know, I could still dress them just as often as I dress my silk, my reborn babies, but I do, you know, get a kick out of dressing my reborn babies because I have all different size babies and so it's kind of, kind of cool. So, yeah, look at your, at your man. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. But yeah, this this little guy, he has such a serious face, but he looks so cute. And when you do his little clothes and stuff, I just I just love it. And um, like I said, I have to paint my mom one. Um, it will be of a little bit darker skin tone, 
um, I am going to be using um, my brother's photo, baby photo, to uh, try to capture similar color. So, um, yeah. So anyway, like I said, I just wanted to show him. He is, I think he's about 20 inches long, 20, 20. One inch is long. He's 20 inches, I think. 20 inches. I don't know. But he's a good size baby. He's not a, a super, super tinanchi. <laughs> he's, not a, he's not a tiny newborn at all. He's a good size newborn. He can, look at this bum bum. He can fit um, zero to three. And newborn size. I was going to try to get India over here. Oh, my girl. See, she's such a, you know, and that's the thing. I'm going to put him there in a trade places. Come on. That's the, the thing I like about her is that she is, oh, he was so cute sitting in his chair. I got to take him some pictures. She is a toddler, but she's not a big toddler. So it's like she's a very little one-year-old. This is This outfit is a little too big for her. But once I wash it, it should shrink up. A little bit, I, I hope. Um, it says cuter than Cupid. I mean, she got hair, excess hair. But this, this is India. You guys seen her on pictures, but not video. So I took her hair loose because I was going to do it in a different style. But I haven't, I realized I got to look in again some more and see about um Gabby's bow collection because I didn't see red in there but she has another container some more containers in her closet so I'm gonna go look at that I'm gonna see if you guys can see her hair but her hair is really pretty and it's like you can like um So I really, her hair um, looks like my family hair would. It's so it's it's very from a very familiar like texture and stuff. That's why I'm, she was supposed to be my mom's, but my mom chose the silicone over her, so she became mine. And now my mom like wish she had her. But she's not getting her so and I know my mom watches my videos now so mom you're not getting her so don't even call me after this video because you're not <laughs> I need to brush through her hair it is um shedding and that's probably because the rooter just kind of wet it and styled it didn't really you know comb through it a little bit it's shedding a little bit but nothing Nothing major. It's very, I could tell that it's, it's in pretty good. It's just excess hair. But yeah. So she does have human hair, guys. And I haven't had a human hair, a baby with human hair since my very first custom. I think. So I don't, I gotta get used to that. I guess I do have to take care of this a little bit different than the mohair because it is human hair. So I probably do have to condition, have condition spray on it you know so that it don't dry up type thing but I don't want to put anything close to her face and too much or whatever but yeah so this is Miss India she is like my all-time favorite look at the little those are her little hands <laughs> so she was painted by me and rooted by um sentimental babies So it's like, look at her. I just, I love this. I love this baby, like for real. Like I've not had a toddler. I love my, um, my limb. And, um, I love the way his hair was and everything. But I just love her. I think she has a very exotic, unique looking face. I think she's really cute as a dark skin baby. I really do. And she if you see this little dot on the side of her thing, she has a, a little mole right here. Someone asked me about that in her pictures. That's, it was, I tried to give her a little mole, 
Um, one of my daughters have one above their eye like that too. But um, I just was trying to give her something different. But yeah, she's 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 my my sweetie patiti. Say yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'm gonna get a little closer. Let's see. So that is this little one. This the little one, little one. Yeah, show sure your hands, hands. Hands, shoulders, knees, and toes. I love her toes too. Anyway, I am done. <laughs> I just thought I would at least show you guys her. Um, I did not weight her stiff, completely stiff, but she does. She can sit up, and but she's also cuddly for holding. And because, like I said, she's like the perfect like 13, 14 month baby size baby. She's not like a huge toddler, so she's she's still like that size that you would hold be able to hold and stuff like that so i that was my whole intentions there with her so anyway guys welcome to india say bye 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 you say bye 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 aunties bye bye a tea later